Thanks for joining us at 6 tonight. I'm Kelly Swoop. And I'm Mallory Safoste. You never forget your best friend. And Debbie O'Malley's mission is to make sure we never forget her best friend, Robin Pope. WMER 2 News is Xavier Weary with this Maryland cold case. March 1st, 2013. It was the last time Robin Pope and her great dame Bella were seen alive. Robin was a mother of two, a cancer survivor and loved by her community. If you were to meet Robin, you would be her friend for life. She thought everybody was her friend. She was just a very outgoing, bubbly, energetic kind of person. A mom, a wife at one time, and a, a, she was a good friend to everyone. Debbie O'Malley and Robin Pope were the best of friends. She says the two had an inseparable bond. 11 years after Robin's death, Debbie refuses to let her dear friend's name fade away. The pair last talked on March 1st, 2013, the day Robin went missing. A Friday night, March 1st, I had text Robin on my, before I left work to say, you know, I was leaving work and I didn't hear anything back from her until about eight o'clock. She had sent me a message that said that she was going on a job interview and then she was going to go have drinks with some friends. Hours later, Debbie says Robin's estranged husband, Wayne, came to her house looking for Robin. He said that he and Robin had spoke earlier that she had wanted to come by the house to pick up some mail and to see her dog. And he said they spoke on the phone and then they hung up and he said he fell asleep. And then when he woke up, he saw that Robin was out front and she was in her car and that she had fallen asleep and he went out and he, he woke her up and told her that she could come and get her mail and go see the dog he needed to leave, um, that he couldn't be there while she was there. And he said he left and then when he came back, she was gone. According to police, Wayne and Robin were communicating the night she went missing. You can say truthfully that he was the last person that we know of to have had contact with her. He was the last person that we know of who was at that house and location with her. Queen Anne's County Sheriff Gary Hoffman says they received a call about a missing person around two o'clock that morning. And we received a call that Wayne had come back to the house and that Robin was now missing. Uh, what he noticed was that all her personal be belongings were still there. Her car was still there, purse, cell phone, all those different items that she had uh, were still there, but there was no Robin. And there was also no Bella. The search was on for Robin and her great Dane Bella. This was a cold night. This was a night where the wind was blowing. It was raining. Uh, water temperature was probably in the 30s. Um, I know the air temperature, the high was 37, the low was 30 that night. On March 2nd, around noon, Bella was found on the rocks near the pier in a neighboring residence. An investigation shows she had bruising on her paws. For weeks, everyone searched for Robin. Everyone, Debbie says, except for her ex-husband. He was offended that, that we th thought maybe he had something to do with it, but he never, during the 23 days that she was missing, he never helped us look for her. He said he couldn't, that he was advised not to. If he didn't have anything to do with it, he should have helped us. Then, on March 23rd, a fisherman found her body along the shoreline of Kent Island, less than a mile away. The cause of death, drowning, but exactly how it happened remains a mystery. I think we need to treat Robin's death as a murder until we can prove to the community that it's something else. Um, and that's why we're reaching out to people to try to make sure that we can find out what the details are. I mean, if this is a case where, if this is a case where the dog slipped off the pier and Robin went in to get the dog and it was natural causes, um, we could accept that. But we just have to be able to put everyone's stories together. From the moment Robin went missing, Debbie had an eerie feeling her best friend was gone. And we knew, we knew that, you know, what the outcome was going to be. We. We always, we could feel it. You never think that's going to happen to them. It didn't, it didn't seem real. It didn't seem real. We just want answers. And we know someone out there knows what happened to Robin. And it might be more than one person that knows. And just tell the truth. Her daughters deserve the closure because they're left without a mother. If you have any information, you can call the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or Maryland State Police Center Barrick at 410-758-1101. In Baltimore, Xavier Wary, WMAR 2 News.